Now, Joe Biden used this week's State of the Union address to close U.S. airspace to Russian planes. He warned Vladimir Putin would continue to pay a high price for the invasion of Ukraine. Sanctions, though, however justified, are a two-way street, imposing costs on Western nations, particularly energy importers like the UK. The price of oil surged again to $118 a barrel overnight, up from just $70 in, in December. The RAC says average petrol and diesel prices per litre in the UK will soon hit £1.55 and £1.60 respectively. Industry insiders go further, warning we could soon see £2 per litre if this Russia-Ukraine conflict is sustained. As wholesale gas prices spiral, UK households face a huge rise in our utility bills already this April, given that gas is used to generate electricity. Back in October, energy regulator Ofgem said utility bills for the average household must be capped at £1,277 a year. That cap's being lifted to 1970 next month, a massive 54% rise. That we already know. But the impact of this Russia-Ukraine conflict on global markets means energy experts now predict another massive rise in October to £2,900 a year for our household utility bills. And that's the predictive average annual utility bill from October. Many would pay much more. No wonder the government faces increasingly loud demands to extend more support to hard-pressed households. Now, Russia's invasion has sparked not just government sanctions. Western firms have invested heavily since the Soviet Union collapsed 30 years ago. But now the likes of BP, Shell, Ford, Boeing and countless others are severing business links with Russia, an economy of almost 150 million. Overnight, clothes retailers H&M and ASOS said they too are closing down their Russian business, as is Finnish telecoms giant Nokia. Manufacturing companies including General Motors, BMW and Britain's own JCB are also suspending operations in Russia. This Russia-Ukraine conflict and the East-West economic war it's provoked is clearly impacting Britain. Wholesale natural gas prices jumped 15% yesterday, 23% the day before, driving those estimated household fuel bills even higher. So On The Money Today asks once more, East-West economic war, what's the impact here in Britain?